Good. good afternoon, Mr. Obi Kubena. How are you today? You are in Happy John to support the Super Eagles. I know something must have prompted you to come down. Are you so impressed with the performance you have seen so far from the boys? So far, so they are doing great. So this is the least we can do. Come and support our own. But we are lifting this cup this time around. <laughs> okay, we are lifting the cup. Um, tell me what exactly uh, is the motivating factor that brought you down here? And of course, are you also mobilizing Nigerians in Ivory Coast to come out and support these boys? Of course, everybody else is in Nigeria. Any part of Nigeria is here to meet today at the stadium to support. That's the least we can do. This is our voice. They've been making us proud at the first stage, the knockout stage, and today is quarter final. So this is the least we can do. As I speak to you, about five individuals and companies out there in Angola are staking out millions to this to their national team, telling them go score the Eagles and you get millions. What is Obi Kubana promising the Eagles today? Well, whatever we think the lawyer will do is in his heart. Yes. Yeah. So the part thing is that I've left everything I'm doing to be here physically to support them. Oh, the other ones right. you guys will hear. Don't worry. Thank There's you. no competition here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just to give us your perception, what are you expecting today from the Super Eagles and do you think we'll win today? Of course, we are. That's not what about it. We are expecting clinical performance, we are expecting the best of all the games we have played and then we are here to support them and we are sure we are advancing to the next stage and from their final, we cannot go back to Nigeria without the cup. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask one very important, very important question, sir. At a time like this, Hey, wait, wait. At a time like this, when we need when we need this competition to unite Nigerians, you are one man who believes in unity. Do you think that winning this cup will bring Nigerians together? We are together already. Even yeah, with the way they perform. You know, this is sports. This is the most uniting factor we have here. Yeah. Yeah. Once we are winning, nobody knows the next person by the left, by the side, in front or behind. There's no religion, there's no tribe, there's no nothing. We always come together and we need to celebrate our wins. And this what they've done so far is commendable and ever all my prayers and support. For me, it's about prayers for the country, for them, because their success is success of the country. As you know, they have become one of our most united force and it's critical that we invest in sports. It is critical for us. Countries after countries like Brazil and everything have used sports critically for development. It is an area of development that we need to invest. When I talk about investment, you talk about education, health, pulling people out of poverty, and that includes investing in sports. We have so, we can do a lot with sports. Congratulations to Nigeria. They've done very well. And that is why I'm here, coming like every other ordinary Nigerian. We need to do more. When I talk about investment, I talk about education, health, pulling people out of poverty, and that includes investing in sports. We have so we can do a lot in sports. Um, win or lose, finally, your message to the boys. Congratulations. Congratulations to Nigeria. They've done very well. And that is why I'm here, coming like every other Nigerian, to support them. <laughs>